Welcome back, my duelist friends. Casual Duelist here. It is Sunday. Sunday means Speed Duel Spotlight. Speed Duel Spotlight means we want to cover a card that I think should be more used or, you know, just something that's sort of like a really good tech. And I don't think that uh, it's being as appreciated as it should be. Uh, so right now, the card I want to talk about is the Bones skill we used on Halloween. So like this last Tuesday. Uh, it was called Premature Materials. So the way that this works, it's very simple. Um, it's like a version of Premature Burial, but somewhat weird. So once per duel, lose 800 life points. That's the first part where I make the Premature Burial uh, reference. Uh, reveal one fusion monster in your extra deck. And which one did we use? Uh, let's see, he's at the top of the table. We used the Great Mammoth of Gold Fine. Um, so boom, boom. Uh, then so special summon one normal monster from your graveyard whose name is mentioned on that card as material, but make its attack and defense zero. So what we were doing was we were taking the, either the snake here or the dragon zombie. We were using it in order to uh, tribute summon into the Ryukoki. Uh, and again, we sort of made a deck that kind of worked and was fun to play at least. And I left you guys on a note of saying, like, this is not where I wanted to use this skill. Like, I don't mind using this skill there, but I think we have a way cooler way of using this. So what I'd like to propose to you guys is regardless of your flavor, maybe you like the original art we were given back with the uh, the first Yugi starter deck. Maybe you like Arcana's red art, or maybe you're like a classic purple armor like I like. Uh, but maybe you're using one of these Speed Duel Dark Magicians, and you're looking for some new tricks for the Ultimate Wizard. Well, let's talk about it. So he is a normal monster card, which is like first and foremost what you need. Second, is there a fusion that mentions him in the game? Well, we definitely have the Dark Paladin, because yesterday we built a deck based on this guy. And uh, he's a really cool card anyway. He has the ability to selectively negate spell cards as long as you have cards in hand. He actually has a way to power himself up if he's facing dragons, dead or alive. And the skill that we used was... It's just right over here, so might as well grab it. The Dragon Hunting Swordsman. And as long as he's soloing the opponent's side of the field, the Dark Paladin actually, actually factually... Uh, goes ahead and changes all monsters in your opponent's graveyard to being dragon typing, uh, forcing himself into gaining a bonus, which again, kind of fantastic. So we do have everything we need. We have, we have multiple arts of dark magician, depending on what's your favorite flavor. We have the skill card that allows it to happen. And we have the fusion monster too. But what would be the benefit of doing this with a dark magician? Do you think? Well, first and foremost, you may have played it off of the spell card Dark Magic Curtain. Um, so again, pay half your life points, special summon a Dark Magician from your deck. You can't summon any monsters the remainder of this turn, but you can set. So you may have played your Dark Magician, and your opponent may have destroyed it in one form or another. Another way that you could have done something, and I don't have the card sitting with me right now, is Foolish Burial. You could have tossed him to the discard real quick, to set this magic trick up. Because as we all know, the proper uh, the proper way to prep any illusion... Or it's, I messed it up. Because I didn't do the proper prep. The joke was, any illusion worth doing needs its preparation. Now, that was the... That was supposed to be the joke. But let's, let's talk about some other things that you could still do. Okay. Since we're talking about fusion materials, why not actually fuse? And if we're going to do that, and we're already using this skill, we can't use the other skill. Uh, and when it comes to using polymerization, maybe we should just be using Destruction Swordsman Fusion instead. This will allow you to fuse using cards from the hand and field as material. However, if you uh, have a Buster Blader, what was it, a Buster Blader on your side of the field? Uh, if this is in your, sorry, list Buster Blader as material using monsters from your hand in either side of the field as material. So if your opponent has one or both of the cards too. You can just snap your opponent's cards up and uh, use them to fuse for your own card. If you're playing Dark Magician versus Dark Magician, uh, your Buster Blader plus their Dark Magician is fine. You could use yours, it's fine. Um, but we can go straight into a fusion off of it. 
Um, additionally, there are a couple of Dark Magician specific things where we just need a name, such as using the Dark Magic Attack skill, uh, spell card. If you control Dark Magician, doesn't care what his stats are, just the name. Destroy all spells and traps your opponent currently controls. Essentially, Feather Duster. Or maybe you want something that's a little more spot destruction. So we're going to use Thousand Knives. If you control Dark Magician, target a monster your opponent controls, destroy that card. Again, very easy to do. Very easy. Uh, again, since we all, all we needed was a name. You guys want to be really tricky? How about a creature swap? It is zero zero, and anything we trade for should be bigger. And yeah, like, I mean, obviously, don't forget the sacrifice your monster is about to make. But this, this could actually induce a game winning scenario and allow you to just straight up win. Um, another way of doing this, and again, if you guys were playing the way I played with Breaker, you guys have another uh, another spellcaster. So using Magicians Unite, if you control two or more attack position spellcasters, target one. It becomes 3,000 until the end of the turn. Um, so you can power up the zero point card into a 3,000 point card and still attack. I mean, right? It doesn't say you can't attack direct either. So if you also used the Thousand Knives at a Dark Magic attack, you may have eliminated their entire back row. And the only monster that was worth uh, not attacking in order to make your make your way through. But don't just think that Dark Magician is the only card. Again, there are a lot of cards that deal with the Red Eyes Black Dragon. Uh, again, we have, I think we have both the... I'm going to just pull out the Fusions. I still have the box next to me. The Fusions. Um, we should still have, I want to say... I thought we had Black Skull Dragon. Maybe I was wrong. Because um, I don't seem to have that guy. Um, we should still have the Meteor Black, though. So we do have a card that will, in fact, have uh, Red Eyes Black Dragon. Yeah, there's Meteor Black. So we do have one that does have Red Eyes on it. Um, so we'll be able to summon him. Um, not that you'd want to, but you could clearly... Uh, summon out the materials for things like the Thousand Dragon, if you wanted Baby Dragon. A couple of the Elemental Heroes are possibilities there. Um, you could maybe use it with the V, uh, the, the Union Monsters, since X and V are both normal monsters. Um, this could be another cool way of speeding out those types of machines. Um, I feel really silly now. I feel like we need to get our boy the black skull dragon into a uh, speed duel um and then of course uh, i wouldn't be a fan if i didn't mention the blue eyes ultimate dragon and again this is another thing this is what i'm saying we should give one more at least one more original Yu-Gi-Oh! dual monsters uh series one uh box set because again we, we gotta see through the battle city tournament since we we had the introduction we have the streets of we need the semifinals, we need the finals, we need the Waking the Dragon story arc with Noah, Gozabora, and all of them. Um, so we need to see the Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon as a nice common reprint, because personally I would love to have it. And uh, two, for cards like the Burst Stream of Destruction, um, being a Raigeki for you for the round. And then of course you could still do some goofy things um, where you could still use that card for Creature Swaps or insert other tactic here and that would be really cool so as long as it's a hero's main card we have options again i want to see neo spatians i want to see neos alias i want to see some of those cards for the gx i'm not super excited to move on to synchro and xyz yet we still have plenty of game to go but leading into it I do think that this premature burial or this premature material skill will be helpful. And later on, later on, eventually we will be dealing with Xyz. This will be a cool way of being able to play one favored Xyz monster when there's a normal monster that's of the right typing to go with your deck, or maybe it's the right attribute, and it's one of those older cards that just sort of finds its new home. Uh, 
by having itself on a fusion material card or being fusion material on a card. So again, I do see this card being useful still in the future, but for right now, like blue eyes, dark magician and, and red eyes can all use this and use this well. And I would be remiss if we did not see some deck using this with the dark magician. In fact, I'm going to start building that myself. It will be on this channel and you guys will get to see it. And it should be fun. I hope it's going to be fun. I'll build it. I'll make sure that it's fun. How about that? Um, so that's it for today. I, I hope that you enjoyed this. Um, if you overlooked this skill, I hope maybe this has changed your mind on it. Uh, maybe you guys will all come up with your own builds of other new cool and fun stuff you guys can do with it. And until the next time, my friends, you have a wonderful day. And I hope to see you guys next time. Later.